Hey there everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Ladder Up, where, oh boy, it's Friday, we're 1650, we're feeling good, and we're trying to finish the week with a couple of wins. I mean, we're definitely going to finish in the 1600s, which is super nice, but uh, hoping to maybe, uh, you know, round it out a little bit. Uh, then we can start off next week with a much less solid team and tank our rating. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way I like it. Uh, woo! But yeah, it's apparently uh, that time of night where nobody wants to play because I am looking for a match and oh my god, that's ripping out my headphones. Oh man, I wish there was a better way for me to show off my little shelf in the back. I don't know if you see that. Got a bunch of cool little plushies right by now. I just got that coughing. There's a little Gengar and a Shuckle. You gotta have Shuckle in there. Otherwise, what are you even doing with your life? Quite frankly, if you are not on the Shuckle hype train, you clearly were not watching this channel. Uh, when I when I played that shuckle team, which it feels like forever ago. I mean, it was like a couple months. It's like three months ago at this point. Oh my god. Man, Don BGC. Yo, is this my boy Don Check? Florida. Oh boy. Oh, what did I do against this? That's very strange. Oh, he, well, Don apparently knows what he wants to do. I'm about to get rocked. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Tabu Feeney is all right. I guess. Kangas Conquer Silly is kind of whatever. Landers Cresselia could be decent. That's probably all right. Heatran. I might not even. No, I don't need that. I, I, I kind of I want to go with this. Is that weird? Yeah, that's probably weird. I don't know. I don't know. I uh yeah I, I yeah, the the Gothmall teams are usually pretty not Gothmall but like the Gothitelle teams are usually uh, accompanied by uh yeah Mawile and Cineroar and that's one thing. When you have like double so like this looks almost like a Parish Trap team where it's like double Shadow Tag user plus Parish Song Azumarill. So I want Landers to help with like. You know, U-turn ability, stuff like that, and uh, yeah. This is this is totally gonna be Paris Trap. This is Paris Trap, dude. Oh my dude. I see no reason not to. Uh... Yeah, not to not to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna I wanna throw up an earthquake. You have you have to fake out landers here. I feel like you just have to. You don't know what I'm gonna do. But I, I think I think earthquake here and even though we're intimidated, it should do decent damage. It should do half to both, at least, I feel like. Maybe not the Incineroar, but definitely the Gengar. Mega Gengar, obviously. I feel like this is gonna be a fake out parasol. Oh, protect, okay. Maybe a uh, knockoff into uh, Cresselia. This will be nice. What's the Incineroar gonna do? I mean, if you knock off into, unless you're just trying to go for a knockoff into Landorus to um, put it in, like let's say Icy Wind range or Shadow Ball range. If you knock off Cresselia, all right, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. This Calm Mind helps with that a little bit. We did intimidate the Landorus too, so that, there's, there's that going for us. U turn, okay. All right, what's coming in? Greninja? Gothitelle? I don't know. What What do? What it do? Azumarill. All right, that's gonna be a switch into... That's gonna be a switch into what's it called? Yeah, I could U-turn, but so Incineroar, so, so Gothitelle is definitely in the back, and this is going to be a Parish, Parish Song, which means that I want to knock off, no, I 
Yeah, I'm gonna double into that. Because that's gonna be a Goth Tail switching, right? Oh. Cinnor, okay. Oh, okay. I, I expected a Goth Tail switching in a Parish, Parish song. This works out better, actually. This is gonna be probably one of those long games, too, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna get rid of one of your trappers here, thankfully. Because Earthquake Psychic will take you out. And we already saw it's U turn and Cinnor, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, so. Okay, yes, yeah, so you actually need. You needed those two Intimidates. You need the one Intimidate to survive. Two to make it a, like a, a damage roll for a two hit KO. This should definitely take it out. So that's nice. Yeah, I think we're I think we're fine. I think we're doing all right. Um, Cresselia is a little bit useless here, but I do have U-turn possibilities. I expect yeah. There's the Gothitelle. Okay. All right. I'm gonna U-turn there. I'm gonna call mind here. I half expect like an ally switch knockoff or just double protect. Yeah, okay, double protect. Or is the lander is going for a... Okay, it is a double protect. The, it's not lander, it's the Incineroar. But the Incineroar is actually either speed tie or the Incineroar is slower. That's interesting. You already saw I have U-turn, so... Cresselia honestly it did its job at this point. It really did. And you already saw that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, U-turn my Landers out of here, and I will, I will, I will, I'll double into that just because I mean, plus two psychic will do decent damage. Minus two U-turn won't do that much, but this should do like half your health probably. It'll put you in range for uh, a muddy water for sure. That's for sure. And that's really what's important here. Hopefully this won't knock you into barrier range. Yeah. Hell, oh, Kangaskhan could come in here and do, do decent work. Yeah, I like I like this. I like having this pressure right here. This thing, yeah, this, about half. Yeah, okay, so you turn, that's fine. We're gonna see probably a trick room here. That's all right. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna see a double protect here, probably. I'm going to fake out a zoom roll just because I don't want it to belly drum or pair song. It doesn't really matter what I do with Cresselia because it's gonna get knocked out here. So I will I'll just I'll just throw up a psychic because honestly you could just double protect. It doesn't really matter. I could see Incineroar coming back in for a, a zoom roll. That might be something. But if you were trying to get cheeky and like belly drum for free, I'm not gonna let it. Like if you want to belly drum this turn, I'm not gonna let that happen. That's kind of what this is for. You know, fake out plus in a plus two psychic would guarantee that your zoom roll doesn't get to belly drum. An ally switch here would be really annoying though. In that in that case, it might have been better to just double edge. But you're not gonna do that, are you? Protect, yeah, okay. But how fast is this Gothitelle? You went for it! Oh my god, you went for it. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is gonna do so much damage. And you're not even, yeah, you're not even Barry. So you're not even the, yeah, you're not even the, the right one. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you okay. Okay. I think we're fine. I'm gonna start firing off muddy waters. Gothel is protected. This is a very free muddy water. And my um Tapu Fino will actually go first. Pear song, yeah, okay.
Heal Pulse. Okay. God, this is annoying. Yeah, that's actually not great. But depending on how much damage this does, it's not bad either. Yeah, no, because we're gonna activate Barry here. So yeah, we need we needed that damage. Oh, we get a crit. Never mind. Oh, cool. I'll take it. Muddy Water Mist and Crit. That's a fair trade in my mind. I will take that trade. So yeah, so Incineroar's got a fake out turn. Which is, you know, that's a thing. Parish Song. Well, I can just switch out though. So we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm, I'm going to switch out uh, my Lander Cistern. I'm going to throw up another Muddy Water, because why not? I mean, Azumarill can't touch it. Yeah, that's a nice, sweet forfeit. Woo! Good game to you, Don. I'm pretty sure that was Don uh, from Florida. And that like that crit helped, uh, definitely. But, you know, we, 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 we could have probably still won. I think we just had too much damage for my opponent to handle. Either way, we're moving on. We're taking the win. We're going to be hopefully like 1660-something. And then we'll, uh, yeah, maybe we'll finish the week with another win and we'll be super close to the 1700s. And I'll take that. I will take that any day. So let's get one more. Let's see where we should be like 1661. Oh, 1660. That was so close. Wow, we are we are just trucking along. Look at this. Woo, buddy. Battle Royale. Is that a good one? I don't know. You decide. You decide what you think. I don't know because I don't have opinions. I'm a robot. I am a robot. Oh, so looking at a little behind the scenes thing, something happened with my, my trainer tower report where it didn't get submitted and I got to go back in and submit it again, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, I saved it all in a Word document, so it's not like I have to retype everything again. It's just annoying that like there, there's some formatting stuff that's kind of hard to do that I just got to go and do it again or whatever. Ooh, Joe UX9, New York, 1609. Let's, oh, wow, we're going to lose. I, always, I feel like I said that every game, but yeah, this is just crazy. What are we dealing with here? Uh, Cartana. Oh, God, I hate Cartana. Because, like, it, it, it's frail, but it can just do so much damage. Uh, so there's Trick Room mode here. Cartana. There's Tailwind, Cartana, Tailwind, Driftwind, Driftwind, Lele. Trick Room with Neo Lego. You have Speed Boost with Blaziken and uh, Snorlax. So I think here... Is there a way I can KO Kartana or Driftblim? Turn one. Is there? There's not. There's not. I wish there was, but there isn't. Heatran could be really good. I think Landorus is better. I, with, for knockoff against the Snorlax. This is going to be very tricky. Oh, nice pose, bro. <laughs> it's going to be very tricky. Uh, yeah, it's like I have to respect both the Trick Room mode and the, and the Tailwind. And Snorlax is just a pain in the butt. And Kangaskhan helps so much against Snorlax that I, I want to kind of preserve a little bit. Lele Driftful. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, oh, burpee. Ooh, that's not good. So, we might be losing, um, what's it called? I could prevent Tailwind. I could go right away. The question is, do you protect? Do you just protect and, uh, Tailwind? I don't know. I could fake out. Part of me wants to just go for that. Fake out into Driftblim. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna make a very aggressive play here. Draw Lele into Blaziken. Okay. That's not great. Tailwind here would have been much better. It's alright, that's a lot to, to drift with. 
This will do nothing to Blaziken. That leads me to believe that that is Scarf Lele. The way that he played that. Because otherwise... I could just... Yeah, I could just knock that out, and that's not good for you. What are you worried about that you want Lele for? Is that a crit? No, that's just really nice damage. Oh, what is that? Oh, I was like, where is that volume coming from? I was so confused. I, I was hearing doubles. Like, am I being robbed right now? Um. Yeah, um, what am I doing? Uh, Tailwind. And Double Edge. Worst case scenario, we match Tailwinds. If you protect Blaze, you can find. I've got plays. I, I mean, I could, I could like sucker punch you, like switch out into Drifflim sucker punch. But I would rather just, um, you know, get up my get up my uh, what's it called, my tailwind. Blazing protects. Okay, I think we're matching tailwinds here. That's fine. Will o wisp. That's really annoying. Okay. That's super annoying. All right. So, is there any reason for me to keep Cortana now? Not really. No, all right, so, all right, we're gonna make a very obvious play here. We're gonna protect our Kangaskhan with our Tapu Fini. We're going to double edge into the Blaziken because we should still outspeed it, even after the speed boost with the Tailwind. If you wanna match Tailwind's fine, we're gonna be able to launch Muddy Waters next turn. You'll be able to bring in your, uh, what's it called? Your Feeny, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. I mean, you're not, you're a Lele. We just get rid of, uh, Blaziken, that'd be great. Oh, is this, please tell me this is Lele. Cartana? Okay. My opponent here is actually making some crazy reads right now. I expected, I half expected a Lele switch, and that's a nice crit. And Tailwind from Drifflim? Yeah, okay. Alright. Alright. That's cute. I'm really worried. I, I kind of want to make a big play here just for the funds of it. Because I half expect a Leaf Blade Will O Wisp. I mean, I can't really avoid. A will was so irritating. You'd have to switch in Lele, though. In which case... So this is a middle ground play here. This is like... I want to hit you with a Muddy Water. Which all cards... Is that Lele? Wow, okay. Alright. So you really wanted to burn my Kangaskhan, huh? Alright, that's uh, interesting. Good. Good, I'm glad you missed your stupid attack. This should be nice. Alright. I'll go for it again. I'm gonna go for my Cartana. Hardy Flirty. I still got crit chances with Leaf Blade. That's a thing. As long as I can get enough damage on these Pokemon, I'll be fine. I'll be super fine. Alright, so... Did you fall for this? Probably not, but, you know, maybe you do. Alright, you're just... Okay. Alright. And my Feeny does that speed, so this is a very bulky Lele, then. Is it gonna be a damage roll? Oh, it's close. <laughs> it's so much damage. Oh, it's Life Orb, that's why. Okay. Alright, so we got options here. My Tailwind should expire here. Yeah, so this gives me a chance to do something. Blaziken, right? Okay. Yeah. We'll protect our Cartani here. I 
I mean, I almost want to just throw up a will of us, but I don't want to give it up for free. I put wants to set up Tailwind. Fine, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to earn it because I'll be able to rock slide you here. Unless you will us into Finny, in which case you're a god. But it seems like you're just gonna go for like a Shadow Ball into Finny and then a Flare Blitz into uh, Kartana. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's a decent amount, honestly, for a Driftwim that probably has very little special attack investment. That's a decent amount. So if my opponent wants to match Tailwind here. You're gonna have to take this Rock Slide. That's the whole point of switching. And I don't think you want to do that. So we're gonna throw up a Rock Slide. Probably regret it. And we're gonna Tailwind here. Probably regret it. Driftwim goes for a Shadow Ball. Okay. Flare Blitz into Kartana. Okay. Oh, and Landorus. Okay. If I hit this Rock Slide, I just straight up win the game. Well, I get a Tailwind, so that's nice. I mean, that's really nice. Rock Slide. Yeah! Feels good, man. Alright. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. I mean, my Karton is burnt, but, like, you turn Sacred Sword, a couple turns of that, we're gonna be good here. We're gonna be good. Yeah, we're gonna be good. You turn Sacred Sword, be good. Hooray! We win! Yay! Woo-woo! Yo, we are crushing with this team. Oh, man, that was a weird team to deal with, though. Gotta say, props to, props to Joe UX9. That was... That was, uh, yeah, Willow was, uh, was so disruptive. Whoo, buddy. She. Although, actually, it doesn't really matter, though, because, uh... Yeah, I mean, even if Landers had gotten burned, we still would have had enough damage with Rock Slide to knock stuff out. We because that's, we, only, we only launched the one attack, so we would have been fine. So it didn't really change anything. Cool beans. Anyways... Yeah, that's, uh, that's it for Ladder Up, y'all. I hope you liked it. Um, happy Friday. Uh, if you did, feel free to hit that like button down below. If you're not already subscribed, uh, do so so you don't miss any future uh, episodes. And I hope to see you back Monday. And again, if you're not following me on Twitter, at, at Felix the Cat, yo, it's down below. Please do that because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a lot more active. I'm ch trying to change some stuff up. Possibly going to be like recording my episodes for next week as a, as a Twitch stream. So if you want to be there for that and know when that's happening... Uh, it's probably going to happen Saturday or Sunday, obviously. Friday's kind of tough, whatever. The rest of the week's a little tough. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be tweeting out like, hey, I'm going to do it this time, this day, this time, whatever. If you don't want to miss it, then follow me on Twitter, all that fun stuff. And I hope to see you back uh, next time for another episode of Ladder Up, where we're just having a great time. So see you guys then.